Hello, it's Dale here. Today I'm going to talk to you about pearl cotton thread, in particularly our painter's range of pearl cottons because they have a big range from 12 through to 3. Um, they have 40 colours of each, um, 40 colours full stop, so everything that they have, but just I'm just showing you them. And um, with uh, the painters, that's a 12. It's, uh, you can see the and that's also a 12 in a different colour, so that's um, hopper. And of course, when they're hand dyed, one of the things that's beautiful about painters' threads and other hand dyed threads, I think everybody knows I like to use hand dyed threads, is that you get different shades all the time. Um, pretty subtle, and also the other important thing is that when you want something for your work, um, make sure you buy what you want at the time because the dye lots always change when things are hand dyed especially we know that with our thread studio threads, but painters are the same um, because it's never going to be repeated. Things are always different and that's what makes them exciting. And I love to use um, uh, the, uh, these threads. Now, people ask me what sort of needles they should use. And I've got a sort of little collection. And one of the needles that I use an awful lot is the Milliner's one. And it's quite a big needle, um, but, and it's quite thick, but it's got a sharp end and it goes through pretty well all the things that I have. Uh, these are the Sue Spargo ones, but we also have the um, the Tulip ones, which are, people just love these. They're, they're quite expensive, but they are beautiful needles to work with. Or you can use a Chenille, uh, Chenille um, uh, 24, which is not so, um, it's pretty good. That's one that I've always used a lot in the past. It's, it's a nice short, fine thread. Just depends on how you like to work and what to do. And I've also got another one that we have, which is, uh, I don't know, I've just got to find it. That's some more chenilles, the chenille, or the tapestry ones. So there's the little tapestry needles hiding in here, tapestry. Um, again, just slightly different. You just find a, a needle that suits what you're doing more than anything else. So that's the 12s. And the next lot round are the eights. And you can see that they're thicker. One of the interesting things is that the higher number in this case is the thinner needle, the thinner thread, a finer thread. So this is an eight. And again, I'll show you a couple of eights. Look at the, oh, this is Van Gogh. Look at the lovely colors in this. And so that's what the thread's like. Um, and there's, this one is Turner. And it's actually slightly, looks, oh no, it looks slightly finer to me, but it is the same thread. And again, you've got that lovely myriad of colors. And with this one, again, I would always personally use the Milliner's one and uh, the perhaps the Chenille 24, the finest, the finer one. And again, in Tulip, here is Chenille, which is really lovely um, and so and so on. So that's those two. Then the next one around, if you look at the next, same, highly organized, all on their stands. And this is Pearl 3. And it's quite a bit, um, it's a, a thicker thread, really good for accents. I'll show you some samples in a minute. So that's Kandinsky and that's Mary C. And even Mary C, which looks very orangey, uh, it is has got that lovely variance of it this after Mary Cassette, because you know the pearl, painter's threads, apart from the uh, pastel ones, are all named after artists. Um, and uh, Babel used one particular painting I would to uh, influence each one that she's done. Kandinsky is a very popular colour. Um, and again, here you want to use at this time, I would use Milliner's one's a bit hard for that. I also have a very thick uh, a chenille that I use in my own one. Um, and that's the chenille 18, which is really good with the threes. Or the, um, the Dana, the long Dana, which is a very long needle and uh, uh, um, I don't use it a lot, but also the Milliner's 15, which is another, it's thicker. So it's really, has a big eye and takes that thread really well. Um, and um, so that's that one. And then the, the thicker one, then we'll go around again, turn around, is the number three. So, and it's, uh, it's a nice big, nice thick thread. Um, really good. I've used it a lot from flower shapes and that accented sort of background and French knots and so on. And for this one, you want a milliner's, the fifth, the heavier one, or the long dana, or the 
um, 18 chenille. And I we also do sell a 14 chenille here. I haven't got it with me, but it's um, quite a bit thicker. Let's see if I can find mine. I have them sort of stacked in here. So it's a, a big, fat, thick one, or it's a 13. It's, you know, it's been around a long time, but it's really good for thick things. You can see like gimp and pearl three goes real big eye um, and so on. And I'll just show you some, some stitching. So when I'm stitching, I've used all sorts of different threads here. Uh, but you can see how you can use the three and the five underneath for a really good uh, background and then start filling it up over the top with, with the finer threads. Um, I think this is actually finer than Pearl 12, but you've got those three and you can work them to create great texture and so on. And here on this one, you can see the Pearl 3, um, and I've used the pearl, uh, the pearl 12 for a lot of smaller things um, and so on. And in this one here, uh, again, look, there's the pearl th uh, th uh, 3, which is great for working there and for um, uh, uh, French knots and other sorts of stitching and weaving. So all of, all of these, the threads are really great to use and they combine because you've got, you're not getting just four of the same absolute color. You're getting different shadings because they're always going to be slightly different. But that's standard pearl cotton. And we have also have it, of course, in Eleganza, not the 12s, but the other three. And we have House of Embroidery um, in, in uh, in all four in different ways um, and Valdani some, and Valdani mostly in eight so pearl cotton is a very popular it gives a nice matte finish it's always very nice so I hope that's been useful I'll show you some other threads another day see you later bye